Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the shop. My name's Adam and this is going to be an episode about some Noga indicator holders. I've had a uh, viewer request here lately that uh, asked me about talking about my Noga indicator holders and uh, I've also had several other people ask me about it and uh, here recently had another person ask me about it so I just figured Hey, it's a good time to go ahead and talk about these suckers again. Even though I, I have I have touched base on these a couple times in some past videos, maybe some people haven't watched all of them, but uh, I thought I'd go ahead and do a little review on these and show you uh, show you the holders and and kind of I guess tell you why I like them. So um, the uh, the video is uh, sort of a, a request for. Uh, Tolly DeCoveney. And Tolly, I hope that I'm pronouncing your last name right. It uh, it looks like it's uh, it's pronounced as DeCoveney. And it, it reminds me of uh, one of my favorite actors, David DeCoveney from the X-Files. So uh, hopefully I'm saying your name right. But uh, Tolly, this is, uh, this is one for you. You asked me to do this, so I'm gonna make a little video for you, all right? And hopefully everybody else is going to enjoy this just as much as you. So, uh, as you know, I'm a fan of Noga Indicator Systems. And I now have three. I started off with the one in the middle here. And I've had this for quite a while. I've had it for probably five or six years. And then uh, recently, probably a year ago, I bought the small one. And then I just bought this one right here, the one closest to me. I just added this one to my arsenal. So uh, I'll tell you about all three. And I went ahead and did some research. And uh, uh, Tolly, he asked me if I would uh, give some part numbers so that people would uh, know which ones I'm talking about because they do make several different ones and uh, different variations. And they come in different sizes. So what I did was uh, I found the part numbers and I went ahead and found the part numbers for MSC Industrial Supply. That's that's who I usually buy from, is MSC. I, I'm used to buying from them. And pretty much anything that they have in stock, I can get it the very next day. So that's another reason why I like to buy from MSC. And I've got a friend, he, he is, uh, he's, he's a sales rep for MSC in our area. So, uh, you know, I can give him a call and tell him what I'm wanting and uh, he'll give me a little bit of a discount on it. So that's, that's always the help there too. So uh, I got the boxes out here that uh, a couple of them came in. This is the box that the uh, small one came in. I kept it. You know, they, they've got some nice uh, packaging. That's also another good sign of quality is uh, manufacturers that spend the time and the, and the money to make a nice looking product, uh, you know, a packaging product and you can tell that the, the, the Noga boxes, that's, that's something that's going to be a nice piece whenever you, you get your hands on it. It's not some, some plain Jane white box with a couple numbers in the corner that, you know, you know the kind of stuff I'm talking about there. And, uh, you know, this is the box that the big one comes in right here. <clears throat> and they give you a nice little book. And I want to show you this book here because... And, and these come with, um, it didn't come with the small holder, but it, but it did come with the big one. So if you buy one of the bigger ones, they'll give you this book. And it, it's a really nice book, and it, and it shows you all of their holders that they make. They have several different styles. This is another style that they build. Hopefully you're not getting a glare. But, so this is the more traditional style of indicator holders that a lot of people have and that they use. And I've got some of, some of this style around here, but I, I never really cared for them. Uh, I, I used to use them, but um, I, like, I like this, the articulating style, better. So, but these look like some really nice indicator holders, the, uh, the traditional style. And uh, it, it'd be another nice tool to have. So the, the book right here goes into all of their, their uh, holders. They got specialty holders here. You can, buy, you can buy them as a combo kit that comes with indicators, test indicators, dial indicators. You can buy all of the parts. That's another nice thing about Noga is that if you happen to break 
something or you need a new magnet or you need a new fine adjust, uh, they, they will sell you what you need. They've got all the parts in here. There's the articulating arms. These are all the, you know, the, the, the top attachments there. They've got clamp systems too. That's pretty neat. This is built like a uh, cant twist clamp that you can uh, mount your, your indicators on. That's pretty cool. And then they have all the little small parts right there that go to all these indicator holders. So, really nice company. I, I love the product. It is a... Uh, Noga is an Israeli company. And they make a really nice product, as I said. And uh, so, what, uh, what I was going to point out with the articulating style, you have, you have two different variations of it. Okay, you have a top fine adjustment which is this one here. Let me turn it so you can see it. All right, this is your top fine adjustment. Use this screw right here. I usually kind of keep it locked in so it's tight there, but see, you got your top fine adjust there. That's the top fine adjust. And this one here, which is my new one that I just bought, you notice it does not have a top fine adjust. This is just your, uh, your thumb screw to tighten it up. Your fine adjust is down here on the bottom. And this one is considered a bottom fine adjust. And you see if I turn that screw, you can see this whole thing moving. And I really like that. I, I, I prefer this one over the top, but I, I like them all and I like having both of them. But I really, I've gotten used to using this style. I've got the same one at work. I've got both of them at work also. So I got to where I was using this one more because when you're on the lathe and you're indicating, you can, uh, if you want to set you a zero on the dial here, you know, you can, uh, you can hit that bottom fine adjust and just move that dial around, clock it where you want it. So uh, that's the two variations of the fine, or the uh, articulating style is your top fine adjust and your bottom fine adjust. And then they make them in different sizes, and there's a picture of the different sizes there. And you see this big one right here? That's the one I've always wanted, and I ain't never got it. That's uh, they, they actually in the in the books they list that as the big boy, and it's got a gigantic mag magnet on the bottom. And it's got a huge reach, but I, I I really don't need one that big. I just I always wanted one because we used to have that big. Uh, monarch lathe at the old shop and and this would have worked out really good on the big monarch because what I used to have to do is either mount this on the compound or the carriage or stick a block up there you know to bring the height up so I could get in there and indicate the way I want so uh, so that's the little book right there that comes with it as I said you know you can you can replace all these parts on these so it's it's a really nice quality tool and they stand behind them. And uh, the the small one here. Here's a pic. Here's a or a close up of the smaller one. And you see it's you got the the, the top clamp right here, and it holds. You it'll hold a dovetail, an eight millimeter, or the three eighths. You can just rotate that to get where you want. And this is your clamp to squeeze it and then this one right here is your fine adjust okay and it's got a little a little small baby magnet on it <laughs> but it works really good it's got a nice uh, strong pull to it and you've seen me use this I'm I mainly got that to use with the uh, with my cool mist down there and it, it does come in handy for some other things, but I really, I mainly used it for my cool mist system because that rod, um, the, um, you know, the stem for the cool mist is a, is a three eighths tube. So it fits, it fits that holder perfect. And I can move it around. And, but you can also buy these without the magnet on there also. These just screw in, you've got a hex down here. I believe those are either eight or 10 millimeter tap holes in the magnets here and uh, Tom Lipton at Ox Tool he did a video a month or so ago about uh, he had bought one of these one of these smaller units like this I don't remember what model he got 
but he bought one of these small ones. I think he bought just this because he didn't show the magnet, but he modified one of his uh, indicator attachments for the bridge port. And um, I believe it was an Indicol indicator attachment for the bridge port or for the middle machine. And he tapped a hole where he could actually screw this into the attachment and use this instead of the, uh, the arms that come with it from the factory. So that, that was a cool addition to a, a nice tool that that Tom had done over at Ox Tool. So all of them come, all of the ends here that hold your indicators, they all come with the, uh, as far as I know, you can put a dove, you can put a test indicator on here also. So they're made with a dovetail or the 3 8 hole in here, but you can also get them in a metric, an 8 millimeter, I believe. And what these are actually designed for let me get right and show you. I, I mount my indicators a little different than some people. But on, all, on your, your standard dial indicators, your AGD style, this part right here, the indicator is 3 8 And the way they build these is that you can stick your, your indicator in here like this and clamp it. Just like so. See? And, and most people actually use it that way. But I find that it kind of limits your range of movement when you're trying to get this thing set up in the lathe to do some indicating because most of what I do, I'm indicating on the lathe trying to get something uh, trued up. So this limits your movement and your position for that indicator. So what I do is on your, for your back lug of your one inch indicators, this is a piece that I made myself right here, and this is a 3 8 shank. This is just a little knurled uh, nut that I make. You know, you can you can tighten it up on there, use some pliers, and just kind of snug it up. So then you can just mount it in here like this. Let me get it loosened up. There we go. I got a good fit on that. And when you see me use this, this is how. That's how I've got it set up, just like so. And it makes it a lot easier to position on center in the lathe to do your indicating. So this is a good little tip, you know, for some guys that, uh, that may have come into the same problem of trying to mount this style indicator and many others. They do them the same way. They're made to where they mount right here on the body, uh, this piece of the indicator, this 3H. So you can make you a little a little piece here to go on your back lug and get a little bit better range and movement out of it. So all right, I got some part numbers for these particular ones that I have and uh, I wrote them down here. So I'm going to start with this one right here, my newest one. There uh it's list it's they're called a FAB, which is fine adjust bottom. And uh, this one right here, this size, the part number is MG10533. That is the Noga part number for this one right here. I believe it's uh, 10 and a quarter or 10 and a half uh, height on it. And this is the same one, uh, same height as the, uh, the top fine adjust. Uh, so this one's considered an FAT, which is fine adjust top. And uh, so this one is an MG61003. This one right here. Okay. Your small one, it's, uh, it's also an FAT, fine adjust top. And this is a NF61003. All right. So regular price, I just looked up MSC, so these are current prices. This small one right here run you about $107. This one right here, the fine adjust on the top, is around $169. And this one, the fine adjust on the bottom, is about $180. That's, uh, that's current prices. I just looked them up. But if, if you guys will pay attention to the sales, a lot of times I see these on sales and they drop the price uh, a pretty nice amount. So 
here's my sales catalog. Now this is an old one. This is from last month from MSC. That's the metal working sales flyer for November. And I looked in the back here. They got all the Noga holders and they got them on sale. And this one right here that I had just bought, they got it listed for $180.56 on sale for $119. So that's a that's a nice price drop, you know, from the uh, just the irregular everyday price. So uh, look for these things on sale because they do put them on sale quite often. And now this is from MSC. Like I said, I, I like to buy from MSC, but all of your other reputable tool companies also sell Noga. Uh, Travers Tool, Travers is a nice place to buy from. They sell Noga. They're the ones that I actually bought this one from. This one in the middle here. They had it on sale, and I believe when I bought it, it was $99. So I, I haven't researched any of the other tool companies, but as I said, you know, you, you can buy them from other places. But um, check out MSC, check out Travers, and uh, there's a few others out there that people probably like to buy from. Check them out. So another, another quick thing I was going to show you was uh, I told you you can mount a test indicator. All right, here's my test indicator. This is the one that you see me used in the uh, piston modification video. Most of your test indicators come with a dovetail on three sides. So you can take this and mount it right on the end of this Nova holder, like so. See? And that's very handy. And you can take it if you want to mount it in another direction. You can put it on here in a, in a, on another side. Like that. You know, or you can mount it on this side. And I believe that all of them come with that. The, uh, the dovetail for the end for, for your test indicators I mean so they're a pretty versatile holder and they work great you know just depending on what size machines you got uh, I like this. this this is a pretty good size you can get in there and do a lot of um, reach in there on your spindle to do your indicating you got a lot a lot of reach there I, I use it on the mill machine a lot of times when I want to tram something in I can reach over there and, and hook it to the mill somewhere and uh, bring the indicator out there and tram something in. So uh, I guess that's about it. Again, th this, is a, this is a really nice product and I recommend it to anybody that's looking to upgrade their, uh, their holding systems. Uh, check out Anoga, buy you one and, uh, and give it a try. I recommend it, I like them and I use them every day. So uh, I guess that's going to be that's going to be about it. Oh, uh, here's another. This is what I used on, on the camera, which is mounted on another indicator holder. That's the little piece that I told you that I make that I put on the back lug of the uh, the dial indicators. And so this is one that I made right here, just out of a piece of 3/8 cold rolled. I turned it and threaded it for uh, I believe that's quarter 28, and made a little a little finger nut. So, like I said, guys, that's about it. I just want to do a quick review for Tolly and everybody else that's asked me about the Novus. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope it was informative. And uh, go buy yourself a Noga. You'll like it. I, I, really, I really know that you guys will enjoy this if you get you one. All right, well, that's about it. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.